in with these motherfucking makeup videos as of late. Y'all have been asking me to get these done, so I am making sure that I get these motherfuckers done for you. If you have not seen my newest video, which is my Kylie Lip Kit video, y'all motherfuckers need to go ahead and check that shit out. I will annotate it all up and through here, and I will leave the link down in the description box down below. When I say y'all asses need to make sure you watch that shit before you spend your hard earned coin, in addition to the fact that there is a huge as fuck ass surprise in that motherfucking video that you will get your laugh on about. So. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure you guys check out my Kylie Lip Kit review down below because a bitch like me got their hands on that shit. So, secondly, I have to also make sure to say hello and what's goody to all of our new fan band members here. Y'all, when I say the, it's been just crazy. These last few days, we have gotten so many new fan band members and that's literally what y'all are to me. Y'all know the deal already. I just want to make sure to say thank you to all of you guys who have been riding or dying with your girl from the begin. And to those of you guys that are newer, welcome to the fan bam. I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope you guys enjoy your stay in my motherfucking domain. And if your motherfucking ass is watching this video right the fuck now, and you ain't hit that subscribe button as of yet, bitch. Bitch, what the fuck are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that shit. Y'all know I always give you time to get it done. So go. Oh. Y'all done? Okay. Y'all have been asking me to do a video on these motherfuckers right here. And it is these BAM ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Glosses or Lip sticks or whatever the fuck you want to call them shits, okay? That just recently released, okay? Now, as you guys can see by my little small, tiny as fuck little handful of my little satin lipsticks that a bitch like me paid for these shits out of her hard-earned coin, okay? So y'all know you're gonna get a real as fuck ass review on these lipsticks. So we're gonna do a quick, rapid review, show you guys some swatches, all right? And we're gonna let you guys know what I think about these lippies after wearing them for a while because y'all know the deal I keeps it funky as fuck up in this bitch and y'all know if y'all motherfuckers see motherfuckers with the thumbnail that looks like this y'all know that they didn't pay for their motherfucking lippies okay so y'all know when I do my reviews whether I get them myself or they are sent to me we keeps it funky as fuck up in this bitch so you can be guaranteed to get a real as fuck ass review from your girl all right we are gonna go ahead and showcase the few lip colors that I got. Let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown of these particular lip colors. Numero uno, these ultra satin lippies were just recently released by ColourPop. If you're not familiar with ColourPop, they were pretty much introduced to most of us through YouTube and they're pretty much just a website that features a whole bunch of really inexpensive lip products. They now offer eyebrow pencils and uh, shadows and whatnot. They've actually expanded their brand over this last year, but they started out with their lip Lippy sticks, that's kind of how they got introduced to the market. Very inexpensive. Their lippy sticks were literally $5, okay? Very, very, very high quality. I've actually showcased a couple of their products here on this channel before. In addition to the fact that their brother to the Ultra Satin uh, Lippies are their Ultra Mattes, which you guys already know I've done a review on, and you definitely want to make sure to check that out. So I will leave that link down below as well. So you guys know I've reviewed ColourPop products before, okay? So when these actually hit the market, I was like, bitch, let me go ahead and get these motherfuckers because I knew y'all would want to see them. And as soon as I asked y'all what video you guys wanted to see next, this was a video that everybody in a mama wanted to see, okay? So there are 16 colors total. They are each $6 a piece. So the price point is everything, okay? So just $6, that ain't shit, right? So I got me four colors of the 16, all right? The one that is the most popular that everybody's trying to get their hands on that's been sold out pretty much from the begin is a color called Dopey. It's kind of a nudish kind of color based on what I saw on the website. Outside of that, uh, I was able to get my hands on whatever else I went ahead and picked out, okay? So, you guys already know the ColourPop packaging. It's white, okay? And it's got the little label right here, all right? Is it upside down now? Okay, ultra set and lip, ColourPop, okay? And while the color, the light adjusts, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the first one. Oh my God, which color is this? Ooh, 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 okay. 
So this is the first color. Now, I went ahead and checked out the website. There really isn't anything that's specific that they promise with these shades, you guys know. I'm very much into giving you guys all the information as to what the makeup company promises for whatever product it is that I'm showcasing. So from my understanding, these are just satin lippies. They're not matte, okay? Um, there literally is no description that says exactly what these promise, okay? So we're just gonna go with the flow, see if we like the formula. We're gonna check out the swatches, of course. You guys are gonna be able to check out the swatches on my beautifully brown as fuck ass skin tone. And we're gonna go from there and see if we like them, if we think they're worth it, all right? So the first color we're gonna go ahead and check out is prim which as you guys can see is absolutely a gorgeous ass color and of course it's got this little silver top ooh 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 and of course their usual doe foot applicator i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that ooh it is a little liquidy oh my god i didn't think they were gonna be so liquidy anyway that's beautiful look at the color very nice pigment on the first shade so far and kind of a liquidier um feeling just based on the swatch I put on my hand so we're gonna go ahead and put this on the lips by the way I am testing out a new foundation that I've never tried before okay no it is not coming out in a video as far as a first impression um, because I have so many products to showcase to you guys so you guys are gonna have to wait for my monthly faves and I'll hail to the nose to find out what I think of said product and you'll be able to see what foundation I'm rocking that I've never tried out before all right here we go No scent whatsoever, none. I'm not gonna use liner, because I want to showcase the color in its true form. So far, you see that? That's beautiful. That is a beautiful shade. Boom! So this is prim on my lips, literally right after having put it on. Hopefully I don't have it on my teeth. No, I do not. Yes, I do, just kidding. Okay. So let me go ahead and back up so you guys can see it. That is a beautiful color. And you know, the consistency of this lip uh, product so far kind of very much reminds me of um, a matte liquidy lipstick, like something that you would think is going to mattify here shortly. It's a little bit liquidy, uh, but it is beautiful so far, very comfortable on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it set for a second, just make sure and see what it finishes like, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've let it set for about five, six minutes, and it did get a little bit less glossy as you guys can probably tell but there's still a little bit of a shine to it it does have a little bit of a tacky feeling to it so clearly you guys see my lips are sticking together but again this is a satin lippy and it is extremely comfortable so far on the lips and it's still gorgeous as fuck okay next up is this color yeah you know when you had seen something on the motherfucking website you thought it might just be a little bit you know more you know, like a nude that would be more appropriate for my skin tone, but you know, it's whatever. Y'all know I go ahead and put the motherfucker on anyway. Hopefully I don't look too crackheadish, but this is the next color. Okay, boom. It's a little bit pinkier, which is why I kind of gravitated towards it. This is tulips, all right? So, same doe foot applicator and all that other bullshit. We're just going to go ahead and swatch it out. This may not be as bad as I thought. Let me go ahead and swatch it on my hand first. Oh, oh, shit. Bitch, I may not be too bad. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put this on our lips. Same liquidy feeling on my hand. So let's see. Yeah, same liquidy feeling on the lips. I always like to make sure, because you already know the deal with the mattes, that depending on the color, how deep or how light the color was, the formula was different. So I am literally testing every single one of them to see if they're the same formula too. Y'all know bitch is thorough. <laughs> Boom. Tulips on the motherfucking lips, bitch. Look, this is just putting it on. So you guys know I'm gonna let it set a little bit just to kind of see how the finish comes across. But I didn't do too bad on picking the shade. I wanted that little pinky nude, you know. And uh, this actually looks really, really, really pretty. Okay, let me go ahead and go a little closer so you guys can actually see the lip color. Back up a tad bit. All right. Okay, color pop. Boom. This is what it looks like after it's set for a little bit, a little bit glossier, but I really, really like this shade. Next up is Lost, okay? Very pretty, kind of bricky, orange, red-ish type color. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch it on the hand. Oh yeah, that's a, that's, that's a red, but it's a brick, it's like a brick orange red. See that? Boom, okay? 
Let's go ahead and get that motherfucker on these motherfucking DSLs, bitch. Ah, interesting. This is a different texture. Definitely a different texture. Uh-huh. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is thicker. Thicker in consistency. Lost on the lips. Very, very, very pretty. Very pretty. This particular one is thicker in consistency for sure. It's kind of got a moussier texture to it, but it still feels really good on the lips. Still has that tackiness to it that the other two had. It's just thicker. It's definitely thicker in consistency for show. Last but not least, this is Panda. And this is the one that we're gonna wear for a couple of hours just to kind of see how it feels. I mean, these are not promising anything in particular. These are not supposed to be the longest wearing things. I don't expect them to be, okay? However, I do wanna make sure that they feel comfortable on the lips throughout the day. They don't crackle, start making your lips look like you done sucked a couple, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? So. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on and then we're gonna rock it for a couple of hours and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on all of this shit. So here we go. Let me go ahead and swatch it on the hand. Yeah, this one's liquidy. I can tell by the way it came out the tube. Yes, that's pretty. As you guys can see, it's like a purpley color. Y'all know I love my purples. Here we go. Yeah, this one's liquidy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rock this motherfucker for a little bit. We're gonna see how it goes. I can kinda already tell what I'm probably gonna say about these motherfucking livies, but y'all know that can change at any given moment. So, I'll be back. Boom! I'm back, bitches! Y'all miss me! Okay, so here are my damn lips after several hours of wear, okay? Not only have I not reapplied a motherfucking thing to my lips, this is Panda that I just showed you guys in the last clip, not only have I not reapplied a motherfucking thing, but bitch, do you see this motherfucking foundation, bitch? I haven't reapplied any bit of powder to my motherfucking face, so stay tuned for the end of the month, okay, and I do mean month, for my monthly faves and all hail to the motherfucking nose because I did not do a first impressions on this particular foundation at the fuck all. OMG, OMG. If you guys wanna know what foundation this is, I will let you guys know when that video comes out. So just stay tuned. Just know that it is motherfucking drugstore and this is the very first time yo bitch is wearing it ever and bitch. It is giving me every bit of life, okay? So just be on the lookout for that at the end of the motherfucking month and I will let you guys know what foundation that is. Okay, off topic, but back on, bitch. We gotta talk about this motherfucker right here. Do you see the level of pigmentation that is left on my lips? Now let me tell you what the fuck I done did, okay? Not only am I shooting this video today, but I am also shooting a IIFYM, which is my flexible dieting plan that I've been on, that you guys have asked me to do a video on, my what I eat in a day video. So that's gonna be coming out after this video. So you guys know exactly what I eat in a day. I literally show you every single thing that I have in a day. It changes every single minute of every single day, but at least it gives you an idea of just how much you can actually eat while looking good and feeling great and losing weight and dropping inches, okay? So be on the lookout for that. That's the next video that comes out after this. But the reason why I bring that up is because my ass has been eating all damn day and since I put this lippy on I have had drinks I've been drinking my water I've been having the meals that I've shown you that I'm gonna show you guys in that video so you will clearly see me with this makeup on in that video and you'll know the shit's real okay so bitch okay <laughs> look with these motherfucking lippies bitch bitch if you don't go and get you some of these motherfuckers for that low ass price of six motherfucking dollars with all this motherfucking longevity on my motherfucking DSL ass lips, bitch. Man, look, let me tell you something. First and foremost, it is an extremely comfortable formula on the lips. The only thing about the formula that I noticed, and you guys already saw a clip of that, is the fact that one of the colors was just a slight tiny bit um, thicker than the other three, okay? Outside of that, it feels amazing on the lips. The weird thing about this is, is as much as I don't like tacky lippy products when it comes to liquid lipsticks, but in this case, the fact that this motherfucker is tacky actually works in its favor. Hard to, hard to explain, but this formula it's still satiny, it's still shiny, it still gives you that luster that the name is saying that it's supposed to give, okay? But because of the formula of this satin lippy, it makes 
your lippy lasts longer on your lips. Despite the fact that I ate several times and I drank several times since you last saw me, you see how pigmented. It doesn't even look streaky. It doesn't look like I did a damn thing, right? I mean, literally, not a damn, okay? So I can't even complain about the formula. The formula is actually perfection to me. Another thing about these very satiny liquid products that aren't necessarily trying to be matte. Um, they have a tendency to bleed on your lips. For instance, Too Faced is a prime example of a more liquefied lip gloss type of situation that has a tendency to bleed, even though they have beautiful colors and they're amazing, but they bleed, okay? This doesn't bleed at all. At least I haven't had the experience of it bleeding. Not one of the colors bled on me whatsoever. You guys clearly see that the pigmentation is great. I use no lip liners whatsoever. You don't even need them with the pigmentation on these fucking lip shades, bitch. Bitch! I'm sold, bitch, okay? Not only that, but for the price point of $6, you cannot beat that shit, okay? So, that being said, y'all, I'ma give these motherfuckers a motherfucking double thumbs the fuck up like you should fucking do with this motherfucking video. Hit that shit while you're here, okay? Let me know down below if any of you guys got your hands on the Ultra Satin Lip Glosses from ColourPop. What you guys think of them? Did you guys go ape shit and buy every single one of them motherfuckers? Did you just buy a few? I wanted to be conservative, so I got my little foe and I was out the dough. But I'ma probably go back and get a couple more. Yeah, what the hell? I did a little rap, you know what I'm saying? Bars. All right, y'all, you guys already know what to fucking do before you leave this motherfucker. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, I'ma need you to do that shit for the one time, okay? Number two, I'ma need you to go ahead and hit that like button for more makeup videos from your girl. Number three, I'ma need y'all to leave me a comment down below and let me know what other products you guys want me to do. First impressions, battle of the brands, rapid reviews, or whatever the fuck else on. I need y'all to also make sure that you stay tuned for the end of the month when I do my monthly faves and all hail to the motherfucking Nas because I've been testing out other products off camera that you guys don't know anything about. And number four, you already know what time it is. It's time for you to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash socialite Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page or my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. Hit me up on my blog, thesocialitelife.com, and hit me up on Instagram, Periscope, and Snapchat at Socialite Sandy, S A N D E. And you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.